side field that I work in is called biomechanics, and that is the study of mechanics in living things, and mechanics is forces and motions. So broadly speaking, my research area is the study of forces and motions in living things, particularly the human body. So uh, more specifically, my area of research involves looking at the forces and motions in the bones, joints, and muscles during various human activities. I have a number of different projects. I somewhat continue my work in computer modeling and using software for biomedical applications. Uh, one of those projects is uh, looking and analyzing medical images and looking at the anatomy to uh, measurements, uh, distances, orientations of bones, and the alignments of bones in order to detect if there's been a uh, traumatic injury that may not be detectable otherwise, like may not show up. Another ongoing project is in collaboration with Dr. Yang Lee in the electrical engineering department. And we are studying how electromagnetic waves propagate around the human body. And the application of that is for wireless body area networks where we can have uh, individuals wear sensors on their body, but we want the sensors to be very small and unobtrusive so they don't interfere with their daily life. And those sensors can monitor physiological parameters, heart rate or glucose levels, or maybe accelerations to, to monitor uh, if there's a, a risk of falling due to balance loss or something like that. And so uh, this research is is looking at how the electromagnetic waves propagate over the body so that we can design antennas in those sensors for wireless transmission of the data uh, very power efficiently. Dr. Yang Li's expertise is in wireless transmissions and, and communication. My contribution is how does the presence and the position and the motion of the human body affect that and so together we were able to uh, do some really nice research studying that and a really exciting application so we can have uh, long-term remote health monitoring. So um, if someone's at risk of falling or someone's at risk of heart attack or stroke or something, um, the idea is that we can monitor their condition continuously and if something looks awry, uh, intervene before something bad happens.